In this video, I'll show you how to add music in Premiere Pro. Hi everyone, I'm the web guru and I create tutorials on video, photography, and audio for content creators. So uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Okay, so here in Premiere Pro, I've already put together a short video and I want to add music. So first of all, I need to import the music by going up to File and then Import. And then I'm going to navigate to the file. It's right here. It's an MP3 file. So I'm going to import that. And I can see it right here inside of the project panel. So all I need to do is drag and drop it into the timeline right below the video clip. Um, and I can see that the music here is actually much longer than the video. If I zoom out on the timeline here, I can see that my video is around 30 seconds long, but the music is over two minutes long. So I need to correct that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom back into the timeline. I'm going to move my playhead to the end of the timeline. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim using the razor tool. So I'm going to switch over to the razor tool and then I'm going to cut. And then I'll go back to the selection tool and then I'll click on the extra music and then delete it from my keyboard. And now the music matches the video. If I play it from the beginning, so I can see that actually the music is very loud. If these red lights turn on, that, the, that means that the music is too loud and it's clipping. So I need to fix that. So first of all, I'm going to increase the track height by double clicking here on the music track, if I double click this empty space, it will increase the track height. You can also manually do it by dragging this little line down at the bottom of the track. And there's a white line, it might also be yellow, across the clip. And if I drag that white line up, I'm increasing the volume. If I drag it down, I'm decreasing the volume. So I'm gonna bring this down to about minus 15 for this clip. And if you want this to be background music, you might even reduce it to minus 20, minus 25, something like that. And so now if I listen to the music, it's better. Now I am hearing some background noise, so I'm going to mute the other track. So now I can only hear the music. And that sounds much cleaner. Now one more thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add transitions to the music. So click on the music clip here and then go up to the sequence menu and choose apply audio transition. And this will add a transition. It's a crossfade at the beginning and at the end of the clip. So now it will stop and end smoothly. And then if I go to the end, the music fades out. Uh, I want it to be even smoother, so I'm actually gonna double click on the transition here. And then right now it's set to one second, so I'm gonna change it to two seconds. You could even make it longer if you wanted to. And now if I watch this clip, the music fades out even more smoothly. So this is pretty much done. Now I do want to show you one more complicated example. So I'm going to switch to a, another sequence that has a longer video. This video is five minutes long. So when I add the music into the timeline, uh, it doesn't cover the video because the music is only two minutes long. So you can actually add the music multiple times. And so I'm going to drag it again. And then I'll drag it again until it covers the video. Now it's too long, so I'm going to choose the razor blade tool. And then back to the selection tool. And now the music is the same duration as the video. Now I'm going to double click here to increase the track height. I still need to individually change the volume for each clip. So I'm going to simply drag the line down. 
And then if I want to add transitions, I can select all of the clips by dragging with my mouse and then go up to sequence, apply audio transition. And it's a little bit hard to see, but if I zoom in, you can see that there was a transition added between the clips and at the beginning and the end of the video. Now this is less than ideal because the music does fade out and then it ends and then it starts up again in middle of my video. So this is not ideal. Uh, and it is possible to remix a song to be any duration uh, using Adobe Audition. And I will be doing another video on that, so look out for that. You may also want to learn how to fade music in and out over time. So you can bring the volume up and down as you need throughout the video. Uh, and I'll be also doing another video on that. So uh, be sure to subscribe. I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what type of videos you would like me to produce in the future. Uh, in the meantime, keep learning and growing, and I'll see you in the next video.